Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to do a quick review of the Keb Touring Down Jacket. It's uh, by Fjall Raven, and you know I like Fjall Raven quite a bit, but I do have some negative things to say about this jacket, so stick around, find out. make this a quick review so I've had this jacket for a couple years I haven't used it a ton largely because I personally have not found that it's been uh, the best jacket out there um, and and when I do this review video I just want to do it I'm kind of comparing it to what else is out on the market this is the Patagonia Fitzroy uh, so I'll be almost doing a comparison between the two so that way you understand why I have some negative opinions about this jacket and if you watch my channel, you know I love Fjall Raven. A lot of people definitely know that. But uh, when you need your gear to work, uh, I'm an honest reviewer. You're going to only get honest reviews here on my channel. So um, right out of the gate, I'll let you know I did not like this jacket. I don't think it's worth the money. And we're going to go over why that is right now. All right, let's hit the stats real quick. Fjall Raven has 150 grams, 800 fill power uh, down. It uh, has 20D outside, 20D inside. It's made out of a polyamide uh, piece of material. It costs uh, $450 and it weighs 21 ounces. Now you get the Fitzroy. Fitzroy has uh, 159 grams, 800 fill power, 20D outside, 20D inside, $400, weighs 17 ounces. So right out of the gate, you can tell there's a weight discrepancy. This is four ounces lighter than this jacket. Now, that doesn't automatically mean that I'm gonna wanna pick the Fitzroy or any other jacket for that matter over the, um, the Keb Touring Down jacket. That, that's not the end all be all. There's plenty of other things to consider. So, uh, outside of weight, we, you start looking at what how does that actually work? Now, both jackets are meant to be winter jackets. They're meant to get you into those teens or lower single digit Fahrenheit um, uh, weather conditions. So you're talking, I don't know what that is in Celsius, but basically uh, above negative 20 C is what, what, what you're looking at, negative 20 Celsius. Uh, anything lower than that, you, you definitely need a bigger, more beefier jacket. You're talking your real, um, 250 plus grams of down you're looking for in a jacket like that. So uh, I got them hoping to get to some of those colder temps, uh, really be able to go camping in uh, single digits, and then when it gets real cold, climb into the hammock or into my sleeping bag and uh, relax that way, or I'd have a hot tent. That was the plan. That's what I used it for. Now I had the um, so I had the Fjall Raven for about a year. I tried it, it just didn't work. The real world case scenario for this jacket is about 20 degrees. You really can't push it much, much more than that. I would call this jacket, in my opinion, I'd call this a three season plus jacket, meaning you're a cold three season camper. It's October. You're looking to get out there and you just want to be warm this will probably work just fine for you but if you're trying to actually use a jacket in the winter when um, it, it can push those temps pretty cold you, you really need to get something uh, this Patagonia worked a ton better now I'm gonna tell you why that is all right so here's the jackets kind of side by side we'll look at the arms first I want to just show you so you can actually see the a comparison between a winter style jacket and a three season kind of style jacket. If you look at these baffles, you can see how there's a lot more baffles. You almost have two baffles that take up one baffle. Okay, these bigger, thicker baffles allow the down, as long as they're not too big and too encompassing, they allow the down to puff out a little bit more. And you can really see that play out when you press on to this ja this jacket. You can feel some down, but you don't really feel much of a bounce back or any. You know that it, it compresses, but but there's just not a lot there. There's not a lot 
insulation. There's not a lot of a thick baffle. And when you look at this one, you can really feel the, I mean, it's tough to see it on camera, but, but if you actually hold these jackets side by side, it's a vast, this is vastly more superior. And I, I think it's part of that is really because of the baffle design. And also, I'm not entirely convinced that they have that much down in this. I mean, this jacket really does not feel like it's got enough down in there at all. All right, so this is the jacket. And uh, I mean, it fits well, it's tailored well. But so one of the big things that you're kind of looking for in a jacket is also how does this fit with your layering system? This is marketed as a winter, uh, could be mid-layer, supposed to also be over your, it says on their website, it's supposed to go over your shell, meaning you're supposed to have your other layers in there. With just a t-shirt on, this jacket feels fine. It doesn't feel constricting at all. It feels pretty good. Start adding layers, and believe it or not, this chest area is fine, but you start to feel this constriction up here in the armpit because they have such a small armpit hole there you get this kind of effect where it's like you you almost feel like you have to raise your arms out and and almost walk like that and it, it's just not comfortable um and it just doesn't work for for my layering system when i'm trying to you know really get extra out of my gear let's say it is zero degrees and i want to wear this jacket but then add a couple layers so that way i can stay warm this jacket doesn't do it all right, now look at this jacket in, in, in comparison. And you can tell right out of the gate, this has a lot more puff to it. The arms, they don't feel constricted. They don't feel like um, I don't have any room. You can see that the baffling is pretty pretty good on there. It's It's got some fluff here. But I have a little bit of room right here. So I can get two or three layers under here and be comfortable and have enough room in there that it doesn't compress that down. It doesn't start to, to build up and push up against that inside layer, causing your down to be constricted and, and inefficient. So the cut of this jacket is a lot better. And I really think that this jacket will work, a, it, well, I know it works a ton better than the Fjall Raven jacket. All right, the last thing real quick that I want to talk about is going to be what kind of features does this jacket have? And this is where the jacket has some pros. Uh, this hood design on this jacket is excellent. The hood really, uh, it's got enough down for sure. In fact, I think the down has more, more in it than some of the uh, arm parts here. But this, this connection here uh, really cinches down perfectly around my head. Uh, you can see this has this velvet feel here uh, for your chin when it's kind of goes up over there like that. Um, and that feels awesome. That's really, really good. Now, it also has these really nice buttons, snaps here. You got a two-way zip and buttons. So you really got options for how you want this thing to be, uh, um, you know, zipped up or used here. Um, so you can kind of use it for all that. It's got these big pockets that you can put your gloves in and all that. But one of the main features that this thing does not have, and I just can't figure out why you have a heavy jacket and you don't have that, is inside the pocket, neither side has the zip in order to stuff this in its own pocket like a lot of these other down jackets can do. I mean, they, they thought of a lot of really nice touch uh, features but um, but the features that you're looking for when you're out and, and actually doing a backcountry trip, they skipped out on. And this is a keb touring down jacket, keb line. You're you're supposed to be able to take this into the woods. All right. So what's my final verdict? Here's the simple uh, the simple thing. This jacket for 450 bucks is not even close to worth it. There are jackets that have twice the amount of down twice the capability and are sometimes even lighter than that jacket right there but for four hundred and fifty dollars I mean that is just an obscene amount of money for something that quite frankly just doesn't even work as advertised hope this helps somebody hope hopefully you didn't waste your money on the on the jacket thanks catch you on the next one